Hello and welcome back. My name is Hector and this is the wonderful world of Victoria. Yes, I am a narcissist. Now, last time we finished the outer shell of the blacksmith. Yes, looking good, even though it's a little, you know, shell-like. Now, I've added some beams in the middle. Oh, yes. Just, you know, to support it whilst we're uh, constructing, but actually they will be there once it's complete. Here, this one kind of had to stop there because, you know, roofing. Roofing is, is going to have to happen. So, this episode, well, it's it's entirely dedicated to trying to get a roof on this thing. So, well, I I think we should just get going, really, don't you? a visitor. I don't know if you can see him on YouTube, but uh, he's just there. You'll probably be able to see him now. Uh, I need to light up that beam. Yep, that's that's something that needs to happen. He's not jumping down though, so we'll just leave him there for now. But uh, it is done, and wow, that that took a, that took a while. That took a while. Look at that. I did the other side. I didn't do a time lapse of the other side. Because, frankly, I, I was trying to do, you know, the third-person time-lapse and I was having a bit of issues with it. Uh, it's the first time I've tried to do that, so, you know, some some growing pains, but, you know, we we'll, might try that again at some point. But uh, this side is more interesting anyway because of that, and the other side is just, you know, it's just plain at the moment. But we will be doing something a bit more, uh, you know, exciting next next episode next episode but for now we are going to add a bit more character to the actual outside here and that kind of starts with doing come on a bit of this come on come on Ah. Eh. Ah. There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, and let's start the other side. 
can just see the zombie kind of out of <laughs> out of the corner of my eye. Oh dear. Oh well. Okay. Well, anyway, you can kind of start to see that I think, and I think I think the unpolished diorite. It's a bit of because obviously I used it on my spawn house as well, and I think it does really well. Like, because there's no clean block, clean white block in Minecraft. So you kind of have to do things like wall, and I don't really like the texture of wall, and same with snow as well. Um, but, and even though this isn't, you know, clean, I think it, it works well because it kind of, it's smooth when you put them all together, if you know what I mean. Like, there's no, you can't see the actual blocks, and I like that. I like that a lot. So... I'm going to fill the rest of this up off camera and I will do, we're going to do the same to this side over here as well. So I'm going to go do that. And then, I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure. We might, we not, we might do a bit more, a bit more here and there, but, uh, that might be it for, for today. Next episode, the episode after, we're going to start to do the interior. Oh yes, I have plans. And I probably need to do something with those. Probably blocks, I imagine. But anyway, that is for next time. Um, for now, I'm going to do the diorite. I'm also going to have to sleep. But I will get on that and catch you in a sec. Uh, I need to light up that place because zombies keep coming out of it. So far, it's just a mob farm. Look, there's another one. Another one there. All right. Okay. Uh, but it is done. It is done. Let's just have a, a quick look whilst this guy's on fire. So I've put the cobble stairs over there. Just kind of forms a nice little... Okay. Okay. Um, Like a trim. A trim. And I've done it on this side as well here. I thought that was another zombie then. <laughs> I wonder what the hell was happening there. I was very confused. Uh, done it here, and it looks the same on the back as well. So, inside, this all looks nice here now. Oh, there's a spider there. I really need to light up that beam. Um, so yeah, so that's I think that's coming together nicely. Frankly, I it's one of oh, controller went a bit haywire then. I think it's one of my nicest builds that I've ever kind of done Minecraft-wise. Obviously, you guys won't really know that but I, I really do I'm I'm really happy with it and the inside's gonna be I think just as great as well like I said we need to add some stuff on this side just so it's not so dull but uh yeah it's coming together now um let's just go have a look at the iron situation I you I've used come on I used quite a bit of iron at one point because I've been tr trading with some villagers seeing what they have um, nothing amazing so far, but one guy has got a looting three book, which is great. Okay, and that's good. And, yes, this is something I noticed last time. Or, actually, I didn't notice. It was in the episode, so some of you keen-eyed people may have spotted it. But we're getting... We are getting ink sacks. So, clearly, because it's underground, squid can spawn. And it's it's rare... It's rare because that those four ink sacks are new. They weren't there bef just before I started the episode, so it's not. They're not brilliant rates, but I'm okay with that. I am okay with that because I I really like black stained glass. So yeah, I'm I'm well okay with that. Um, that's a added bonus there to an underground iron farm. Now. Just to finish off the episode, because, you know, we did a lot of uh, off-camera work and we did uh, the time-lapse. I'm hoping that comes out okay. I haven't looked at the footage yet. Um, but I think, I think we have just enough time to do one of these bad boys. I need to go mining again. Uh, 18 diamonds left. That's not brilliant, but that's, you know, it's not... Not too bad. Um, I've started fill up, filling up the chests as well. So I've got wood here. All the kind of ites and stuff. 
stone, cobble, anyway. Uh, that's not that interesting. And we are, we are. So let's sleep. And I'm sure most of you know now what I am doing. Come on, in we get. Come on. There we go. But if you do not know, I think I did it last episode as well. Did I? Or was it the episode before? This guy is still here and ah, he's still tied up. So clearly leaving them in the spawn chunks tied up is fine. That works wonders. So I'm quite happy with that. That's a nice little discovery. Um, but here is our one of our long-term goals on Ectoria. That is to get a full diamond beacon. We have four blocks now. So... Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I I forgot uh, a part of what I needed to do there, didn't I? Let's put that here because that's going to happen again. There we go. Lovely, lovely stuff. Here we go. Bang that one out. And five, five beacons. That I'm really not looking forward to because obviously. There are three here, but we also have to fill out the block under there. So that's that's like a wasted one, one that you can't see. I'm going to do that, and then you won't be able to tell that there's anything different, which is a bit rubbish. But anyway, look at that. That's looking good in the distance there. Spawn house, blacksmith, ugly, ugly vill villager breeder system. But anyway, that's fine, that's fine. Um, Thank you very much for watching. Part 3 will be coming up this week, it should be at the end of the week, and where we will start to do the interior. Oh yes, got big plans. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I've been Hector, this is Victoria. I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.